Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome to episode 29 of the Hardcore Iron Man series and please enjoy today's episode. So it's pretty crazy how often people ask me how I got the rune polish on this Hardcore Iron Man and to be very frank with you, I got the rune pouch the way that pretty much almost every other Iron Man gets the rune pouch and that's just to... I don't like using this term, uh, boost, okay? So what that means is I get someone that I know as a target in Bounty Hunter and I kill them. And the idea is to kill uh, your target enough times where you get the emblem drop and then you get a few more kills in so that you can upgrade that emblem to I believe tier 6. And that is what I did on this Hardcore Iron Man. A long time ago I did this on episode 5. So if you want to see like exactly how um, it worked out, you know how I did it on video then you can check out episode 5 of the Hardcore Iron Man series. I will be putting it on the description. You can find it you know, on my uh, Hardcore Iron Man playlist as well. Super easy to find. But I want to caution you though, if you are Hardcore Iron Man and you want to get a rune pouch, there is no safe way to get a rune pouch, okay? It's always going to involve the wilderness. So if you want to risk dying and losing the status for the rune pouch, go ahead. But yes, please do be cautious. Alright, I've decided. Fire Giants gotta go, man. They are too common of a task, and I'm so bored of these guys. So, in order to uh, speed things up, I am gonna get rid of Fire Giants. I mean, they're okay tasks, but I'm just so bored of it that I just can't do it anymore. So, this is the kill, right? Yes, it is. Just hit 78 Slayer. Damn, that's crazy. We're almost hitting the 80 Slayer mark. Hello. What we got here? Freaking Dragonstone. First time getting Dragonstone on here from Rare Drop Table, cool. So I just figured out that I can actually do quite a bit of Slayer on this character while doing raids on my main account. So yeah, I've been doing quite a bit of Slayer and I managed to get myself some uh, cool items. I got myself the Leap Bladed Sword. So now that I have both of these weapons, I think I'll still use the Axe for fun. Uh, I'm pretty sure the Leap Bladed Sword is probably better at Crest because I can just you know flick pretty easily with Shivery with it. And also, I managed to get myself two Granimals as well. It would have been nice if I managed to use it at Nightmare Zone. But maybe for future rains, if I do get any, you know, Granimals is going to be great for uh, getting points with since the power surge is amazing with the Granimal there. No way! What? I've only heard rumors of the normal one dropping it, but... Yo, that's pretty, pretty cool. I mean... Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I don't know what I'm going to be using this for exactly. I know there's probably a spell that that's pretty good with like uh, Lunars or something. But alright, cool man. <laughs> that's probably mad rare, honestly. Oh man, I would love to get that D-Chain for that Master Clue though, right? What the fuck? Are you kidding me? Wow, I hit the freaking uh, the rare rate from the Superior Monsters. And this task, by the way, is right after the Dust Devil task, and I freaking got it again! Why? Okay, now I'm just kind of mad, you know, like, the first one, uh, unique items, I always accept it, you know, it's, it's always cool to get a unique item, but, come on, man, two Dust Battle Staffs in under an hour is a little bit ridiculous, man, come on. Okay, I think it is time for me to finally unlock the Jad task, just because... You know, if I don't unlock it, I'm kind of slowing down my progress to 87. So let's go unlock it and see what the next task is. Oh, Blood Hills. Yo, I shit you not. Been doing Slayer for an hour and I just got my fifth superior. That's another one. All right, okay. I only managed to hit that super rare uh, table one time. All right. I almost forgot to go ahead and uh, make my Inku test bigger because it's one of the only few tasks that I can uh, burst effectively so let's make that bigger and hopefully I get myself some Enku tasks and here it is 79 Slayer I went from the beginning of 78 Slayer all the way to 79 all in one day so that's pretty damn good I'm still trying to get at least one level a day but yeah it's pretty damn hard seeing as how I have freaking 187k to freaking 80 oh snap just hit 89 strength. Nice, man. And that means one more level to go for first level 90 skill. But damn, dude. Half a mil XP for that. But it'll, it'll be fine. 
probably could get that before I get 80 Slayer, to be honest. Hey, got 83 range as well shortly after. Actually, I'm doing a lot of FK range. Might get 80 Slayer first before 90 strength. That's how it's done, guys. 84 range. God damn, dude. Back to back range levels. Straight up just range Slayer tasks non stop. That's actually really nice, though, since I like to FK a lot of my Slayer tasks. That is really nice to see. Consistent month of straight 100 plus tiers, dude. That is so nice. Really worthwhile doing these tiers of cutics like that. And that gets us all the way to 37 rune crafting. So that's pretty good. I mean, although the leveling is starting to slow down quite a bit, two levels only. But I think within two weeks, I should be able to get to 40 rune crafting, which will be pretty nice. I might be able to craft some astro runes for maybe some crafting in the future if I ever do get around to you know trading it uh, pull Zora now that will be something I will be prepared for by then there it is guys we're not done yet though but this is such a nice number to be hitting right now on the sled level 80 slayer that's a big big deal okay 80 slayer I can now kill uh, Nack Rael's which is a really good task nowadays gonna give lots of good rewards and had I gone this before the boosting nerf I would have probably had the whip by today but it's okay you know we'll have uh, the whip in five more levels but seven more arduously gruesomely long levels to go for the next big PVM challenge there you go just hit 87 hit points okay definitely strength is gonna be my first 90 skill coming up in a bit so I decided I would go ahead and uh, play around with the uh, Leap Blade of Battle Axe just because it might actually be pretty decent at Gargoyles. Like Gargoyles have a decent defense and yeah this thing has a lot of crush bonus. I have like 115 crush bonus right now so I know that this Battle Axe is a little bit slower than a D skin. Oh my god look at that 44 though. Holy shit I hit way uh, more. Well, the axe, you know, than the D skim. So, the biggest edge I got, you know, over the D skim is that it's more accurate here, and I also hit harder, dude. That's crazy, though. I'm probably just gonna finish this task off with a axe because it seems hella fun. So I found a really good way to kill Marco Gargoyles, and it's really, really easy. All you gotta do is walk under him. It's that simple. Because. The reality is, if you're fighting gargoyles, you're probably going to be fighting it, like, you know, at this spot where there's just too many gargoyles in the same area. So walking under after every attack is super effective. It's a lot easier to do than trying to walk uh, side by side because places like this are super crowded and you just end up misclicking and, you know, attacking a gargoyle. And that way you can guarantee that you avoid the uh, barrage attack that it does. Yeah, which is pretty much one of the most dangerous things about it. Holy hell, I haven't done farming in forever. Well, just hit 58. Back on some little bit of skill and grind now that I got a bit more time. Oh fuck, I forgot my second tier. Alright, I really need to get back into like that mindset. But 58 farming though. Farming has always been a decent way to uh, take a break from the crazy grinding of Slayer. Look at this god dang experience left, guys. Eight experience left. There we go. And now I am 81 Slayer. What? I didn't even get to click continue. Come on. Anyways, nothing crazy at 81, but that means six more levels to go. Oh, I totally forgot. Yeah, I didn't manage to get the, the Dragon Boost yet. I didn't get to boost. So, I guess in two more levels, we'll see some uh, nice Dragon Boots uh, being added into this character. So 87 Slayer is about 4 million experience, just a little less, and I am over halfway there in experience. I know, right? Only 6 physical levels, but yeah, in terms of time, um, we're a little bit over halfway there. Crazy, huh? I mean, now my stats are a lot better, so maybe we could say I am 3 quarters of the way there? Yeah, that sounds about right. I was about to wrap up this video, but then I forgot that I didn't even record 90 strength. Yeah, I actually did hit my first level 90 skill today. It usually doesn't happen like that because usually as soon as I get 80 Slayer, I already have the whip, but yeah, that doesn't work like that anymore. So yeah, the D skin is uh, just strength training all the way, more efficient that way. And I also managed to hit 99 combat. Hey, my first 99. Nah, of course not. 
But yo, one more combat level and I hit triple digits. So because my Slayer goal currently is very ambitious and very uh, long, it's actually proven to be uh, quite difficult to release a Hardcore Iron Man episode you know, within like two days, three days type of deal. So yeah, bear with me. I'm trying to get this uh, grind done as fast as I can while also not going insane. So I hope to see you guys soon with another Hardcore Iron Man episode. I don't know. Whenever it happens. But if you're new to the series and you want to stay up to date, feel free to subscribe to the channel. That way you'll know exactly when the next episode drops. And also if you enjoyed today's video, feel free to give it a like as well. I would really appreciate that. Other than that, hope to see you guys soon with another video in a few days. Take care.